Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from KicksOnCourt.com. Today we have a quick look at the recently released Nike Zoom Hyperfuse 2013. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So my initial impressions with these guys here is that um, they kind of brought these back to more of a outdoor performance model. Uh, the rubber's very, very durable um, feeling. It's a solid rubber. And um, all of the grooves here are herringbone, but they are also flat, so um, it'll wear down better outdoors, it'll wear down more evenly, and so on and so forth. Um, you can see that there is zoom air in the forefoot there. There is still nothing in the heel, uh, just like all Hyperfuse, nothing different there. Um, and then the entire upper is like a real, kind of like, not super hard, but in certain areas it's a, it's a hard fuse, like up here at the ankle. Um, this is a harder a harder fuse. Um, down here is a little bit softer and everything for flexibility and there also is less of it so that you're not going to be creating too many hot spots or anything which is good. So um, this whole piece is a rubber wing and um, it's not going to really hurt or anything like that just because it's like this is the only section where it comes up on your foot. Um, the part that I thought was weird though obviously is this little like dinosaur looking piece um, and then it's rubber too. I thought that this is going to be cloth but it's like, it's rubber. I just, I don't really, I mean, I don't know. This looks funny to me. Um, they could have easily have just had it be like a loop or something, but instead they did this. And it just kind of reminds me of like a kid shoe. So, um, they come with these old things in there and uh, all that stuff. These are definitely the best looking in terms of overall looks since the first one, uh, minus this whole thing right back here, at least in my opinion. Um, and then you have the Hyperfuse right here with the padded tongue on the top, not really padded down here, it's just mesh. And then this is the same font that they used on the uh, Hyperdunk 2013s. And inside, you can see that, it's just kind of like that mint color with a blue swoosh. Um, there's decent padding in here, I like that, and then this is what they call, I guess, adaptive fit. I don't know why or how, but um, I'll, I'll find out once I start playing it. But basically, once you start lacing up these these last two eyelets up here, um, the entire entire collar back here is just independent. So, you know what I mean? Like you can stick your hand hand in there all the way over and all that stuff. So it's kind of like a weird. It's a weird, weird thing to have on there. I think it's kind of strange. Um, it's for a range of motion, but at the same time, like, it's attached to this piece here, which is pretty much like that's how your ankle moves, is down like this. So maybe it's for that kind of movement. Like, you know what I mean? Once they break in and stuff. Um, hopefully you can see that, but start moving like that. I'm not really sure. So I'll figure it all out once I start playing and everything. But right now... Um, this colorway and the black and red colorway I found over at um, a local store. Uh, I think it was a local chic. And then um, uh, there's also other colorways available now at finishline.com. And there's also colorways available on nikestore.com. So um, there's multiple colorways actually available on Nike Store. So uh, if you want, like, not this one. I don't know why this one. I never even seen this colorway before until I saw it in person. And I, I grabbed this one. So, um, but yeah. That, that's pretty much everything, um, you know, basic tech uh, overview, um, Phylon's real hard, uh, I didn't feel the zoom in there, um, it looks bottom loaded, as you can see there, um, but at the same time it could just be that, you know, that's how shallow everything is inside, like how thin the forefoot is, so, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll figure everything out and then I'll post performance teasers as usual on my site, kicksoncourt.com, and I'll also, um, uh, do the performance review when it's when it's ready. So um, stay tuned for all of that stuff. Uh, if you want like detailed images and things like that, you can go to my site kicksoncore.com. I got some there. That's pretty much everything. Again, this is like a really hard rubber, so real suitable for an outdoor shoe. Um, if you're looking for something outdoors, fairly flexible still, so it's not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Uh, make sure to stay tuned to my site kicksoncore.com for all of your performance needs. And until next time, guys. Have a good one. And so it's like a minimal setup.
can see in there, all that. It's really breathable, which is great, because the original with the shroud was not. Um, 